Well, this is day 13. On day 12, we had them up over the bridge and in and out of the horse trailer and stuff. <clears throat> you don't have to do this stuff with your baby horses. The reason we started doing it with the weanlings <clears throat> was to get their minds off being weaned and give them something to do as opposed to just being in a pen or turned out on grass. We're going to work with these colts a couple more days. Then we're going to turn them out. Um, in January or February would be a good time to catch them back up. Both of these colts are eligible to be registered in the ABRA. These might make a couple of nice in-hand trail colts to go to the Buckskid World Show with. I don't know. I'm pretty sure because they're learning fast. Um, if they get handled properly when you catch them back up, they go to the World Show easy enough. Um, what we're going to do today is I'm just going to play with them. They know all of the things that I typically teach a weanling cult. But you got to understand, this is an in-hand trail training. All this is is teaching them how to learn. It's just like teaching them the alphabet. Don't get in a hurry with these weaners. You'll scare them. And if you're not doing the groundwork properly with these wieners, you'll take the life out of them. If you kind of keep that in mind, you can get an awful lot done when you take them off the mare. And like I said, if, they're, if somebody wanted to take these and go to the world show with them, January, February is plenty early enough to catch them up and start putting them on obstacles and teaching them how to do trail. That's the easy part. The hard part is taking your time here at the beginning and teaching them how to learn. So, here we go. We're just going to play a little bit. And every time with these babies, no matter what you do with them, they might have been perfect at something yesterday and a little jumpy today. Take your time with them. This colt's probably only six, seven months old. And I'm the first person besides its mother that's ever told it it couldn't do something. You gotta be a little bit compassionate when you work with them, but you wanna get You want to get things done so that you can do things at a later date, this is the perfect time to teach them that the stuff you're going to teach them is not going to hurt them. Now right here, all I'm doing there is letting this colt know that if it stops, I'll quit. When you give them a day off when they're this young, Sometimes it takes a few minutes to bring them back. Hell, they're not like broke rainers, you know. It's almost a new world for them. And that's uh, something else that you got to kind of keep in mind if you're weaning more than one or two colts. When you put them in pens or put them in stalls, when you're doing this, if they're in the same, if they can touch noses with their buddies, or if they can talk to their buddies all day, when you separate them for the first time, you're going to find out that they've went from their mother to their buddies. So it'll be like weaning them again. Best way these calls, if you can, is to put them in a place where they can't touch their buddies, so that they have to really focus on you as being 
they start sort of bonding with the human. Don't abuse that. But if you've got two of them running together in the same pen and you separate them when they're a yearling, you're going to have to wean them again. I promise you that. Something to think about. All we're doing here is I kind of want to move that hip and step that shoulder over. Kind of drive them along. Maybe move that hip and move that shoulder over. Now you remember that deal hooking? This is the best way to teach these babies to lead on a loose line. Bend them around you and then hook them. We'll see if we can get this little baby to trot. We may not be able to. We might, though. Just like that. That's the beginning of having them trot with you. Not by pulling them. You send them. And then you hook them. There we go. That's how we teach them. Now I'm walking so the colt slowed down. Remember that stay with me? If I stop, they stop. There's no pulling involved in that deal at all. beginning of them baby horses trotting with you. None of this. That ain't going to work. In the long run, they'll start pulling back and sticking. And it ain't about, it's not about the obstacle you use it. about how they stay with you at some point. That's how you get them through those courses. Right there, that was nice. Now hook them. There we go. That's how you get them babies to trot with you. Now, from now on, we've got that in our toolbox. If we get a little sticking going on, we're just going to send them past us. And then when they get to that right spot again, we're going to hook up to them. It's kind of muddy in my pen today. So I'm not... I'm not really wanting to do a lot of running in this mud, but see how she's behind me and she's sticking? I call this sticking. I'm going like this and she's not ahead of me. Now we got that tool where we can bring them up and hook them. staying with you. I stop, they stop. And I reward them for being with me. You practice that quite a little bit. That pull behind 
behind their head becomes unnecessary. When you grab a hold of them to go somewhere, you ought not to have to pull them. beginning of that. Now watch her front end. We step up in here and move that shoulder over. That's why we teach them to send. That's the whole reason for that. Everything that I've showed you up to this point has led to the ability to communicate with them. If I stop, they stop. If I back up, they back up. Now that'll get better as long as we don't make it an issue. Very nice, Doug. Remember what I said about getting soft? It's all about that getting soft. Every body part that you use, head, neck, shoulders, rib cage, hip, all of those parts need to be soft. You get those body parts soft, then not only do they get to where you can manipulate their bodies, but they want to be with you. It's easy for them. You've showed them that if they're with you, and they're trying, when you put pressure on to release that pressure, just them move it. Now we start refining on all of these things that we've been doing. And we just play with them. I want her to come up to me. I'm not going to pull her. I'll show you. Watch my hand. I'm going to move that hip and that front end came. And here she comes and I never pulled on it. That's how that works. If they're stuck, just untrack them. You don't necessarily have to untrack them towards you. Just untrack them. Remember that deal with their mouth? Look at that face. Nice. Now if I go like this, and she sticks again, I'm picking up here. The weight of this rope is on her pole. She knows there's something going on, so I shouldn't have to pull any harder. This is going to be a philosophy for the rest of her life. She's got pressure on. Now instead of pulling harder, we're going to move something else. There. And there it comes. Go to that hip and drive her up. And this will come back to pay you back huge dividends if you've got the patience for it. Remember the sending? I'm not going to pull her harder, I'm going to send her. And then I'm going to let her come up. So I never once had to pull on her. It took me a few minutes to get her to come up to me, but I never pulled on her. There was pressure here, but it was light. If you want them to stay light, you got to treat them like. But that's how, that's how my baby horses can go through those in-hand trail courses so fluid and free. Look at that slack. It's all about them staying with me. And you teach them that right here, right now. Just don't get in a hurry with them.
I was asked a question one time, what's the most important thing you can teach an in-hand trail horse? And the most important thing is staying with you. But you can't teach staying with you until after you've got them body parts broken. pressure there. She's not coming, so I'm going to drive her. Just like that. And let her stay with me. There's the same thing as driving them with the stick with my hand right there. That's why we use the stick. If I can feel her back there, I drive her up. I don't look at her. If you stare at these baby horses while you're working them, you will intimidate them and they will quit you. Once again, you don't have to do things this way. It's just the way we do it. And that's all we're going to do with her today. She's going to make a really nice in-hand trail horse. I truly believe that. I think we'll go tie her up now for a little while and we'll work her brother. <laughs>